Okay. Right, it is the 17th of July 2012. Can you tell me your name, please? Um, yeah, my name is Carol with an E on the end, Gibbs. And your date of birth? 16th of November 1961. So that makes you today? It makes me exactly 50 years and um, about seven, eight months. Right. And where were you born? I was born in Ormskirk Hospital in mm. Lancashire. Okay, so where were you living at? You know, when you... Um, my parents were living um, on Dean's Lane, which is um, just down the road from here in Hosker. Yeah, right. And what was your parents? What are your parents' names? My parents' names are Alf and Janie Calvin. Calburn. Calburn. Yeah. And what's your mum's maiden name? My mum's maiden name was um, Bradley. Right. So that's a fair Wigan. Um, no, they're from um, Preston, well, oh. north of Preston, Longridge. Right, okay. Yeah, and they were both, they kind of lived on um, the farm next door to each other, so it was a classic girl next door story. Right. Um, and uh, two brothers married two sisters. Yeah. And um, they went to quite a lot as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so what does your dad do? Um, my dad's a farmer, and um, my dad's now 82, 83 years of age and still works full time. Right, so what sort of farm is it? Um, now, um, that's, it's a turf farm. Um, previously to that, it was a mixed farm. It was both arable and dairy. Right. So was that here all the time then? Um, yes. Well, yeah, they moved here in 1960, so I was born from here. Right. Um, and, yeah, that was the first farm they had. Um, as a part, It was a partnership between four brothers. Yeah. And your mum, what does she do? Is she a farmer's wife? She's a farmer's wife, always has been a farmer's wife. Yeah. She did, um, I think, when um, she was when she first left school, which was about, was about 14, wasn't it? 13 or 14. She did a little bit of um, nursing, right. um, nursery nursing, I think, working with children. But we're talking a few months because her mum died quite prematurely. Mm. So she was one to, needed to take over the family, really, to right. care for her father and brothers and sisters. Yeah. Again, that's something that happens yeah. when you go back far yeah. in those sort of uh, relationships mm. and, and yeah. situations. Yeah. Um, do you remember your first day at school? Yes. Which yes, school was it? I went to uh, Newbury School, uh, Newbury Primary School, um, which is a church school. And yeah, I remember my first day quite vividly, really, because it was quite scary because we'd never been to nursery or We'd never been away from my mum, really, so it was quite a scary day. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? You get... I mean, I don't... We, we never went to nursery school no. or play group no. or anything like that. There was nothing like that. No. So nowadays, you're in when you're about two, aren't you? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, so, your first day, what, what was it like? Very scary. Um, very big. Um, and, uh, you know, it just... It just was quite... It was quite a scary situation, really, to be in. Um, I think I probably cried most of the day, um, missed my mum, um, and I suppose the only good thing was that I did have um, older brothers and sisters and cousins there to sort of keep an eye on me, but yeah, right. it was a scary day. Did you go, did you know anybody else other than your family? Was there any other people? No, you, no friends no, or anything like no, that? No, no, because we so. lived out on the farm and, and really we were... We lived quite a protected childhood, so we we hadn't no we hadn't mixed with other children. I guess uh, there would have been. We always went to church on a Sunday, so there might have been some familiar children, but I mm. I don't recall there being anyone that I, I knew. Right, and do you remember what your classroom was like? I remember the smell, because <laughs> <laughs> we used to have um, school dinners in the in the classroom, um, sort of about five minutes before lunch was served they used to put like um, plastic covers on the desks and um, we had lunch in the classroom so I, the classroom always smelt of school dinners I thought. Right, mm. cabbage? Usually. Yes, yes. Or something like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what sort of lessons you did? Um, Not so much the first day. Yeah, right? um, yes. Um, I can remember doing very basic sort of um, mathematics you know adding and I guess it was just number work at first and I think it was very different to nowadays I think sort of that reception first year at school is very much a play you know based around play but I, I don't remember there being much play I think yeah. it was mainly you know getting to grips with your three hours really. Right mm. did you have any uh, I'm sure in my age now um, Shells and things like that that you do for counting. Counting, yeah. yeah, yeah. We had some lovely soft, well, not soft, shiny and 
and very smooth mm. um, shells that we used to use for counting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And did you have Cuisinaire? No, because I've no idea what that is. Right, basically Cuisinaire was, was sticks, they were wooden sticks right. and they were like units, so you'd get a cube as one right. and then you'd get two yeah. and three and four, so you, so you could make um, patterns and things, right. but it was a counting exercise right. and things like that, so no, no, I don't didn't remember have that. that. Maybe no. I was just coming in, I don't know, because mm. uh, you, yeah. you, you were a year behind me, yeah. so that's um, maybe... Uh, yeah. You just haven't got everywhere. No, we yeah. certainly had the shells, which I'd forgotten about actually, yeah. but yeah, we had shells. Yeah. 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 Um, come break time, did you have milk? Mm. And what was your milk like? Horrible. <laughs> it was warm. <laughs> and coming from a farming background, we always had nice fresh milk, yeah. straight from the cow, well, straight from the coolers. Um, so I remember that it was in glass bottles and it was very warm mm. and quite disgusting. Yeah. Mm. Third of a pint, was it? Yeah, they certainly, I, they were, yes, they were small bottles, yeah. they weren't pints, so no. yeah, they probably were a third, yeah. 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 And late, later on, do you remember the bottles changing? Yeah, they went to um, cartons, I think, eventually, yeah. yeah. You yeah. could never get into it. They had a little tab on, you had to like, Very stick, difficult. A, stick a straw into it. Yes, like yeah, I've noticed nowadays that they are like the, the, the ones you get juice in, aren't they? So yeah. they're quite small cartons and you just stick your your um, straw in, but yeah, then they were, yeah, they were quite difficult to get yeah. into. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was either warm or cold, because it was, if it mm. was outside in the winter. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I just remember it being very warm. Yeah, do you remember the names of your teachers? Um, I remember the name of um, my first, no, you know, first year um, at school, her, her name was Mrs Lang. Um, she was quite an old lady, um, and she was quite fierce, um, and her punishment was turning you upside down and putting your head in the bin. <laughs> For any any misbehaviour, and I thankfully never got I never got that punishment. But yeah, yeah, they get sacked for that these days. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> and quite rightly so. <laughs> so um, you're going through the school. You're doing your maths. Mm. Any sort of English. What sort of books did you read? Um, do you know I don't I don't remember too much about books. Yeah. Um, if I said Janet and John, does that? Oh, Yes, yes, yeah, you th I'm thinking sort of later on when I was, you know, a, a better reader. Yeah, we did the Janet and John books, yeah. yes. And yeah. did you fly through those, were they? Yeah. Were you able to read before you went to school? No. No, no I don't think so, no, I, no. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I couldn't, no. Yeah. So yes, yeah, the Janet and John books, yeah. Right, yeah. So, you, so you did okay with those? And yeah, the, yeah, I think so. went on to uh, The five books, else. so yeah, yeah, I remember the five yeah. books, but I read them at home, but yeah, yeah quite like those and sort of books about... Jill's Jim Carner and those kind of right, so the type. Um, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. School day adventures. Yes, that's like right. That. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, when it came to you were you were at ten or eleven, um, eleven plus. You, yeah. Did you take eleven? Plus? Yes, I did. Did you know what it was all about? I had no idea. So, um, so they didn't sort of do any exercises. No, 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 no. I just remember going in one day and. The hall had been rearranged. It was all, you know, single desks in in lines, and we were just told to sit and put our name on the front of this this paper, and and then to just complete the exam. Right. Yeah. I had no idea what it was about. No, they no. Didn't, didn't tell you at all. No, I don't remember. No. I don't recall them doing. No. No, I I didn't. Fa I failed it, so I obviously didn't do too well. <laughs> no. I always, I never liked people saying they failed it. It maybe not passed was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't get enough marks for the. Uh, uh, to, I was to probably go on. very bored of mine, yes. Yeah. Um, so I remember when we did it, it was, uh, and again, it was like the, it was the same sort of time. Mm. Um, we were doing little exercises on the board, you know, say every right. Friday afternoon. Right. Or uh, every afternoon, maybe, just like word puzzles and right. number puzzles and things like that. And when we came to the 11 plus and we knew it was coming, um, you opened the paper and it was exactly what we'd been doing right. on the board. Okay. So, so we knew yeah. we knew what we were doing. Yeah. So uh, that's I remember we had quite a high pass rate <laughs> in our school. I don't know, that was yeah. the Brisbane Durnings. Oh, Durnings. The, the small one, yeah. 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 So, so having had um, the unfortunate uh, mm. case of not mm. uh, being able to go to grammar school mm. or whatever, yeah. uh, what was your choice then? Um, well, I, I don't know that there was a choice. We went to Bursco County Secondary School, um, which is now called um, Bursco Priory, isn't it? Bursco yeah. Priory School. Um, and I, I, don't, 
I suppose the choice would have been the school in Ormskirt, which at the time was called um, Wigan Road mm. um, or Bursco. And as I had um, two older sisters already at Bursco and it's near, and we, that was the school that, you know, the school of choice really, I suppose, for my parents. Yeah. Um, and that's where I went. So going from the smaller school where yeah. you were the top notch, as mm. it were, top, top mm. class. Uh, to the bigger school mm. where you were right at the bottom. How did you mm. find that? Again, it was very scary because um, it was obviously much, much bigger than my primary school um, and um, there were far more children in it um, and um, obviously some of the, the, the children looked like fully grown men mm. and women because obviously, you know, at 11, you know, much, much uh, younger than the 16, 15, 16 year olds that were um, ready for leaving school. So yeah, it was again. It was quite a, a scary, scary experience. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you find the lessons changed from when you were at primary um, school to uh, secondary? Um, I I didn't I don't think academically I struggled or um and and I don't remember it being um too difficult. I just remember that there was much more uh, variety. You'd gone from sort of doing you know basic maths and English, a bit of art and um. Um, a little bit of geography, history type stuff, um, oh, and a bit of PE, um, to a, a much broader curriculum where you were doing, you know, sort of French and um, having to do um, domestic science, it was called then, um, and, um, you know, all the sciences, physics, chemistry, biology, so, yeah. Did you do those separate, as separate yes. subjects? Yeah. yeah. Because these days it's all lumped together as science. Yeah, it? yeah, it is. No, we did them all separately. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, you know, obviously you were going into a science lab. Um, never been into one of those before. And bumps and burners and, and, and the like. So, um, yeah, it was all it was all quite a new experience. And I suppose the other thing was that um, it was further away because obviously um, the primary school was pretty close to home. Um, and we, we used to go on a minibus to the primary school, um, which was driven by the local vicar of the church, because obviously it was a church school. And he used to pick us all up. Um, what was his name? His name was Mr Bell. Right. Um, and he used to pick us all up and, and he, he used to drive around the, the countryside around here picking up um, all the children. He actually went next door for Tony. All right. Yeah, I think he was on, there was two, there was two loads. I think he was on the first or the second. He was, I think he was on a different one to us. Um, and he used to pick us all up and take us to school. Um, and obviously when we went to high school, um, or secondary as it was called then, it was quite different. Um, it was kind of get there on your own really. Yeah. Um, and what we used to do was cycle from the farm up to um, Newborough and then catch the service bus um, to school. Right, so where, where did you leave your uh, bikes? We used to leave our bikes at, um, you know, on the corner of, um, it's not a farm anymore, but it's um, on the corner, um, I don't know what the corner's called. It's on Course Lane as, you go, as you're going down, as you're going down the hill really. It used Just to be Boyers, wasn't Boyers, it? Boyers, Boyers yeah. Farm, yeah. That's, I didn't yeah. think you'd know it, but yeah, yeah. And the, the, they're still there, the farm buildings on the other yeah. side. Well, we used to leave our bikes there. Right. Um, we had an agreement because yeah. one of the girls, Pamela, was actually in the same year as my older sister. Right. So um, I think my dad must have approached him, mm. uh, her dad, at, you know, when she started. Yeah. So there was kind of there was um, our family. So there was four of us, three next door, and then we had two cousins down the road, and we all left our bikes there and caught the bus into um, Bursco. Right. Yeah. How long did that take? It's probably not very long, um, actually. Well, we used to leave the house at ten past eight. I remember that because yeah. it was like my mum was shouting up the stairs. It's ten past eight. You need yeah. to be because we had. To, I think the bus was probably about half past eight, so yeah. we needed to get there and you know get our bikes put away and, and run across the bus. And also that was interesting because we we then sort of had money because we had to buy a bus ticket. Right. We weren't entitled to you know free transport. Oh right, because you, you're not far enough out. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, and so we all had to have, I don't know, I don't remember how much it was, maybe seven pence and you mm. had to sort of um, save seven pence for the evening to yeah. get back home again, otherwise we'd be walking I suppose. Yeah. Um, so that was a new experience. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a very different experience than, than primary school. Right. Mm. Um, you mentioned we were talking about school dinners before we started. Mm. Were the dinners any different from the primary school? Yeah, the... I think they were. I think there was less cabbage. And sometimes we got chips, yeah. um, and obviously the way that it was, we you know we didn't um, we didn't have them at the, in the classroom. Although I think later at primary school we moved into the school hall for lunches. But um, 
so yes, it was um, it was quite a different experience. So we had to have, buy dinner tickets mm -hmm. um, at the beginning of the week, I think. Right. And um, you had to queue, um, which was quite a long queue. And if you got to the end of the queue, it was you know almost time to go back into lessons before you'd finished your lunch. Um, and then um, you handed in your ticket and she used to rip it up and then you had to go along and, with your tray and choose something. So there was a choice, right. which there wasn't at primary school. And I, don't, I just remember being given something yeah. and expected to eat it. Um, so we had choice and um, I think probably the food was slightly better. Yeah. Hotter, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Was it cooked on the premises? Yes, it was at that yeah. time, yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I know a lot, a lot of them these days, you just get... Shit yes, tea, yeah, on, on sort of horrible disposable tray type yeah. things, whereas now it was all, you know, plated up in front of you. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, as you got older, did you have choices of what you wanted to do lessons-wise? You know, when you so yeah. was coming to... Uh, were you doing all levels then? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we, uh, we, uh, at secondary school you did a combination of GCSEs. Right. No, no, no. That's what they're called now. Yeah. Um, o levels and CSEs. Yeah. Um, so we did, uh, and in most subjects, we I was entered for both right. the O level and the CSE. Right. So you had to do two two exams. Yeah, yeah, two exams right. on the same subject. But that was quite good because obviously it gave you if you got a grade one in a CSE, that gave you an O level. So oh, right. um, yeah, it worked all right because I think that's how I managed to get most of my O levels. Yeah. So did you have a choice of what you had to do? Yeah. Um, at, do? at the end of um, the third year, going into the fourth year, you did your options. Mm. Um, I can't remember. I think we still had to do French. We still had to do the the the, the language, um, and and I, I did I did some sciences. I certainly dropped um, physics, because that was too mathematical for me. Um, and I did um, I did biology and chemistry, history, geography, English, maths, obviously. Um, and we had to do either cookery. Was domestic science or sewing in those days? Right. And I did the sewing one. Yeah. Not that I was very good at it. But did, you, did you not fancy the domestic science? Not at all. No. no. I didn't like the teacher. Oh. No, she was a bit of a dragon. You find that puts people off? Yes. Definitely. If you got a good teacher. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Without a doubt. And you know, now I think, well, maybe I would have been. It might have served me better to have done mm. cooking, but no, I really didn't like it, so I didn't. Right. I didn't, didn't do well. it. No, no, no. We've got some. Terrible tricks in her lessons because we didn't like. <laughs> Did you have any careers advice? Um, yes, I, I I have no idea what that consisted of. I I seem to remember going into the library one day, and just being asked what I planned to do after school. Was that go to college or get a job? And I think you know I well I obviously should, I did choose to go into college, and I think that was kind of the full extent of my. Mm. Right. Career advice. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they wanted to know what I wanted to do beyond that. Yeah, because we, we had very little, if, mm. if any. There was a room full of pamphlets and things. Yeah. But I think the main thing for the grammar school was to get you to university. You know, you didn't want to yeah. be a plumber or anything like yeah. that or have a trade. It was, yeah. it wasn't geared no, it was much more academic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so you were off to Oxford and Cambridge yeah. if, if you could, you know, that's yeah. what you wanted yeah. to do. Yeah. Or whatever, you know, but um, after. after after the fifth year, it was the case, you know, you got your O levels and then t took it from there, whether yeah. you did A levels or, or yeah. left. Some people left, some people carried on. But of course, you'd have sixth form there, wouldn't you? There was a sixth form yeah. block where we were, yeah. 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 Did you have sixth form no. or not? So, so no. where would you have had to have um, gone? We had the choice of either Southport College, um, Wigan Tech, or Skem College. And I went to Skem College. Right. <laughs> yes. Don't laugh, there's nothing wrong with scare. <laughs> there isn't. No, actually I did very well there. Yeah. I did I got some good A levels. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it was it was I think it was probably the second year that it had been opened. Right. Um, and the teachers were actually there's one teacher from um, the second trip from Bursco Secondary that was actually teaching there in geography. Right. So I, I that and that was one of the subjects, so kind of he was a very good teacher. So no, I, I haven't you know, it's it was a very good it was a very good experience for me really. Mm. Mm. So what were you doing when you sort of did A-levels? Did you have a career in mind at that point? Or? Yeah, I always wanted to do nursing. Yeah. Um, so, um, and obviously you can't go to do nursing until you're 18. Although in those days you could do, um, um, what do they call it? What do they call it when you do something at 16? Um, the apprenticeship? No, um, it was, um, 
can't remember what it was called. Um, no, I can't remember. But there were, the, you know, there was the um, opportunity to do something at sixteen, between sixteen and eighteen, before you did your training. But it was kind of being phased out mm. um, when I was, um, you know, considering it. So I knew that I'd have to do. I had to fill two years really before I went into do my training. So I knew that it would be college. Right. Um, so I did. I did um, two A levels. You're not allowed to do two A levels now. Are you? You've got to That's do. No idea. You know, you got to start with four and then you can go to three, but you can't, oh, right. can't do more, less than that. Um, so I did two because I found that the, the the change from O level, or I suppose mine mine were mainly CSE, so I mm. suppose that was why I found it. Um, that was a huge change in yeah. in what was expected of you. Um, so I did um, geography and biology at A level. Right, and then yeah. from there you um, got enough to go to somewhere else? Yeah, um, well, I had kind of a little, um, it was um, a bit of a disappointment really because, you know, my, my career pathway was always, I always wanted to be a nurse because mm. um, when I was quite young I had um, quite a lot of, I'd, I was in hospital about three or four times, I've got problems with my ears um, and I'd been in and out of hospital, you know, as a, you know, sort of four, five, six mm. and then a little bit later. And it was it was always my career choice, and my parents always used to say, oh, "What do you want to be?" And I'd say, "I want to be a nurse." <laughs> and tell everybody, tell Carol, what, tell everybody what you want to be. I want to be a nurse. So it was always what I wanted to do. Um, but um, I fell in medical because of my ear. Right. Um, so it was kind of it was a, a shock, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do because that's all I ever wanted to do. Yeah. Um, and so um, after my A levels, um, I had a year out really where I just. And I just I worked in hotels and just kind of waited behind you know worked behind bars and just um, had sort of a think about what I wanted to do in my life. Um, I went I worked up in Scotland for a time um, in the Highlands of Scotland in a hotel in Scotland. That was um, a good experience. Um, and then when I came back, I just decided to try again for nursing because I just I, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. Mm. Um, and so um, I did mental health nursing. Um, and um, I think they felt that the risk wasn't as great because I wouldn't be in such sterile um, environments. They felt that the risk to both myself and other people wasn't as, as high, so um, I was allowed to do that. Right. Um, so I went in and I, I had to wait a little bit, you know, with them waiting for um, you know, the medical clearance and then once you've got medical clearance you had to find a place because it's quite different now training to be a nurse. You, now it's, you train through the university. But um, in 1984, when I went to do my training, we still had a nursing school, so you went to the School of Nursing. Mm. Um, and you were paid, and... Um, they were attached to hospitals, were they? They were attached yeah. to hospitals, yeah, that's right. Um, and obviously it was kind of um, split um, practical and theoretical training. Um, and, yeah, um, it was... Um, and that was in Southport, and, you know, and that's been my career ever since. Really. Right. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you're still doing? I do. Um, yeah, I work with children now, working mm. in a child mental health service right. um, in Scam, in Scam's Down. Um, and I work with children with um, complex needs, so that's yeah. children with developmental disorders, right. autism spectrum disorder, um, ADHD, mm -hmm. attention deficit. Um, do you find that's on the rise these days, um, or is it that? We've just realised what it is. I think I think we're just becoming much much more skilled at recognising autism spectrum mm. and Asperger's. And I'm you know I know that there are a lot of people out in you know the world today who have not got a diagnosis, but you know probably would meet the criteria. Yeah. I think we've just become much much better at recognising it. Really. Yeah. Uh, but there certainly is uh, a lot of people out there. <laughs> what are you looking at me? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Can I come back to your mm. younger days? Mm. And when you were at school, what sort of games were you playing in the playground? Um, at primary school, um, we used to play a game called. We always took a ball to school, like a tennis ball or a um, yeah, a small, a small yeah. like tennis ball. And we used to play a game called tens. So how do you play that? Right, well, uh, one is just you throw it against the wall and catch it. And then twos, you threw it against the wall and bounce and catch it. And then threes, you had to twist round and throw it and catch it, I think. So you did it three mm. times. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. By the time you got to ten, it was quite a complex thing you had to do. To, in order, and then you had to do it ten times. Mm. Um, so we used to play that. Um, we used to play skipping. 
Um, Do you have any skipping rhymes? Do you remember? No. I'm not going to ask you to sing them, but if you knew what they were, then... Uh, no, I don't think we did. No. no. No, actually, we so didn't. So what sorts of skipping games did um, you play? We just used to play th um, faster and faster, you know, yeah. we'd go backwards and then higher, we used to play higher as well. Right. Um, and it was usually, we used to, d we did that more as a team, so you'd have yeah. one on either end and, and then, yeah. the, you know, four or five children going over it and then the next one would join it. And sometimes you'd play in pairs, so you'd, you know, it'd be quite, obviously quite a long rope, so you'd have two people skipping at the same time. They used to take over the playground, didn't they? Yes, yeah, yeah that was in the good old days before yeah. health and safety, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and I remember being able to take our roller skates to school. Right. And the playground was fantastic with roller skates because it was lovely smooth. Yeah. Um, Do you remember clackers? Yes. Did you have those at all or not? Um, I don't think I was. I don't think I was ever bought any, mm. but I certainly remember seeing them at school yeah. and maybe having a go with my friends. Right, yeah. Because they got the band, didn't they? Because yeah. they used to break their wrists. Yeah, or they used to smash and it was, mm. yeah, maybe a risk to your eyes, right? So, um, yeah, I remember them, but I, I didn't actually have any. Um, and obviously we used to play sort of rounders and things like that. What about hopscotch? Was that a, um, no, we didn't really play hopscotch. Um, no, we didn't. We used to sometimes take marbles in. Mm play marbles. Um, and what sort of games would you play with marbles? Um, really just, just rolling them and hitting the uh, other. Yeah, I didn't really yeah. know how, I don't think we ever played, you know, the official way um, of playing marbles. We just Whatever just, that might be. Whatever, yeah, yeah. 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 I thought but maybe you knew Mark. <laughs> well, no, again, it's like, uh, you might have a circle with mm. some marbles in mm. there and you'd have to knock them That's off. That's right, yeah. Um, I mean, somebody didn't have a big one. There's always somebody had a big marble or yeah. whatever they wanted to. Yeah. They called it different mm. play, things in different mm. places. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what else would there be? Uh, conkers and that sort oh, of yes. thing? Oh, yes. Yeah, we definitely played conkers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I used to put them in the oven and dry yes. them out or <laughs> try putting them in vinegar or yeah. leaving them in the drawer all year. We had all kinds of different ways of yeah. trying to get the best conquer. And did, did they work? Do all these uh, treatments, um, shall we say? Um, I don't think they did. Maybe putting them in the oven and completely drying mm. them out, but you had to get your hole in before you put it in yeah. the oven, otherwise it just shattered, didn't yeah. it? Um, but yeah, I think I think I probably had a, you know, like a 20 year at one right. time, so yeah, yeah, but then somebody else got it, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and if, if somebody got your 20 year, would they add that 20 yes, onto theirs? Yes, so, so they could have a 30 year or yeah, something. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, it would just yeah. mount up. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thinking back now, it would have been quite easy to cheat, but we Not didn't. Sure it would. No, <laughs> no, no, we were very honest about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And I think that would probably be all the games that we played. Yeah. Um, I suppose it was catch and kiss mm, catch right. and, and all of those kind of games. And yeah, so yeah, played them. Yeah. Were you, any, were you in any youth organisation? Um, I used to do um, Morris dancing was um, one of my uh, sort of, but I suppose that would be classed as that kind of thing. By Morris dancing, you mean uh, with I fluffy mean, pom poms? Yes, and yeah, the, I mean the girly version. The girly version, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, with the tambourine and music. Right. And um, I was in Newbra troupe for mm, probably about um, 10 years. Yeah. So started as, you know, one of the juniors and ended up. So how old were you when you started? I would probably be about seven or eight um, when when the, the, the troops started up. They used to have about three troops um, and then ended up being one of the, you know, I, I can't remember what they called them, the leaders with the tambourines mm. and in charge of the troop really. Yeah. Yeah, the was, baton twirler. That's all right. That, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. We had the most hideous, hideous outfits to wear. Mm. <laughs> and bells on your pumps. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What about guides or brownies or something like um, that? No, I didn't. I never did um, guides or brownies. When we were when we were children, um, my dad was quite protective. We mm. weren't really allowed to. He didn't really approve of us doing anything yeah. out of the family home, really. Um, and so we didn't really do an awful lot of that kind of thing. The only thing um, that we did, we went, we did Sunday school. Um, so well, that was the church at Newbury Church. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we'd always have to go to church. Which right. was, a was that a family thing that you, you'd go? Yeah. Um, yeah. Not not my dad. My dad. It was my mum really, yeah. um, and, and my uncle and auntie next door who were right. yeah, and my grandma very very religious. Yeah. Um, and so we we went to church every Sunday, and then from there the children went out into the vestry. And then into the school, we went mm. into the school for Sunday school, right. um, which was taken by Mrs. Bell. Yeah. 
But um, as a child or, or growing up, we we didn't we didn't really mix with a lot of people, and we used to we were expected to work. To be honest, yeah. from quite an early age, for some.